Welcome to Spiritism Explored and Explained, where we take you on a journey of discovery of the other side, the spirit realm, the universe in which you came and shall return. You may be the one assisting others, not the other way around. In the book Between Heaven and Earth, psychographed by Francisco C. Xavier, there is a passage where spirits are in a home talking about a 14-year-old girl sitting quietly in a chair in a corner embroidering initials on a linen handkerchief. A spirit pointed her out and remarked thusly, She has come to meet other persons and situations she needs in order to ascend spiritually, but she has also brought with her the task of assisting her parents. At the moment, she believes her mother is the one doing the assisting, but because of her spiritual merit, she is actually the one that is assisting her still struggling mother. You may recognize that situation. Did you grow up in a family where sometimes you thought you were the only adult? You tried to help your parents, but it was difficult to bring them to their senses? Well, take heart. You probably volunteered for the duty, even though it may have left you slightly confused on how you could have come from that set of parents. Whatever the case, you were blessed with a chance to help those in need. To understand more about how you should set your personality and character and how you should strive up to ascend the spiritual ladder, you should read my book, How to Live. Inner Peace Through Spiritism. I structure my book around a poem created by Andre Luis, and it has 24 verses which pertain with how we should place ourselves in a mental state to achieve inner peace. Inner peace isn't a condition to enjoy for a moment or two on the beach after a few drinks. It is a life quest, a multiple life quest. In the spirit world, thought is action. As a spirit, our mind creates the environment in which we live. Hence, the more control we have over our own thoughts, the more calm, the more reasoning, the more loving we become, all contribute to a true paradise awaiting us when we are scheduled to pass back to the real world, the spirit realm. This poem, which is essentially a list of advancement and serenity, is composed of 24 verses, very short stanzas. But what I do is I take each line and I expand it into a chapter and I explore one aspect of attaining inner peace. I shall attempt to describe the end state of what was envisioned in the specific verse and why this state is vital for your spiritual growth. Inner peace is more than just a short poem or a list of spiritual conquests. It is what should be the result of full integration into the Spiritist doctrine. Inner peace is the result, the summit of attainment possible in our short earth lives. The climb is worth the effort, and upon reaching the summit, you shall view more mountains to scale and ever-increasing rewards to attain in your quest. God bless.